Hey guys, so I'm gonna get ready to paint this little section right here and then that way I can test it out and then Chris can just go for it and I'll help him mud once he gets everything else all skinned and added to that side and this side. So I'm going to experiment. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this section, that section, that section and that section kind of a cream color and then I'm gonna put maybe a yellow over it and then I'm gonna age it a little bit all right cream color is on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brown a light brown and I'm gonna go over all of these wood trim pieces right here now all of the beams are painted the light brown I'm gonna go over that with a faux wood grain next but first I've got these two yellow whoa <laughs> I've got these two yellow colors right here I'm gonna mix a little concoction up right now and I'm gonna sponge in the cream color a little bit and just give it a little bit of brightness and a little bit of color so I'm gonna test this out see how it goes so the cream was the base then I sponged yellow on there, but didn't make it look like sponging okay. very much. And now I'm going over with the watered down brown and green. And this is kind of a uh, mint green or a lighter green kind of a thing. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it gives us this weathered look. Because I know that a lot of people just spray on black and let it run and drip and stuff and that's fine if that's the kind of look you're going for but this is just something like you can see on the stucco houses around us is that it's more of a brown color it's not really black so and I think it's brown because of the dirt and you know pollution and that kind of stuff so um, what I do is I just come over like I've been working on the window trying to round it right now just to give it some uh, shading effect right there. So I'm going to do the same right here because I would imagine that, you know, dust and everything will collect in this corner. So I've just come in there, give it some sprays, and then lightly tap it to try to keep most of it right here. And what I'm trying to do is prevent any runs or drips. I just want to make it look dirty. And so then what I'll do is I'll just keep continuing down. And then um, it would collect down here, so I just go down there. And then, like, I'll come back because it's starting to drip again right here. And the nice thing is, is this side is clean, so even if you didn't want too much buildup in the middle, you can just come back and wipe some of that away. Yeah, maybe we could take a dry towel too. Put yeah, in. afterwards. I mean, the thing is, is you just keep stepping back and looking at it mm -hmm. from a distance. That's that's what I always do. And then you can see, you know. A textured surface too also helps. Mm -hmm. Like it, like the texture that we left on here really is helping a lot. Like versus if it was like a smooth wall. It would be right. a little bit more difficult to achieve so this now, look. So why don't you go ahead and stand back so you can yeah. show them what it looks like. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So if you guys have never tried aging a wall with a brown and green mixture, definitely try to do that. And more brown than green, um, but enough to, you know, get in there and start aging some stuff and see if you like it. Yep. Try something new, you guys. Awesome. On to the next step. On to the next step.